Uh, my name is Jeremy Fant and I'm a molecular ecologist or lab manager. So I use genetic tools to answer ecological questions. I've always been fascinated in nature. As a kid, my most vivid memory was watching a TV program in Australia about a frog which lives in the dry arid regions. And what it does is it swallows its eggs, turns off its stomach, um, and then it broods the young tadpoles in its stomach, and then it spits out the young froglets when they're old enough to look after themselves. What was interesting was the scientists who discovered it pointed out that we can learn more about how our stomach works, how we turn the stomach on and off. It's not only a cool frog, it has potential to be very useful to us. I went to college in my hometown of Adelaide at the University of Adelaide uh, for four years. And once I finished that, I did grad school in Britain at the University of Cambridge. When I'm in the field, I try and collect as much genetic diversity from as many populations as I can. I have traveled all over the upper Midwest and much of the Western United States. When I find a population, I'll go through and I'll collect leaf tissue to do genetic work. I also will collect seeds so that I can grow those populations side by side so that I can see if there's any morphological differences. My favorite part of the, the gardens um, would have to be the prairie. I like the wildflowers, I like the horizon, I like being able to see around me and being surrounded by nature. Biological diversity is enormous. All animals or insects depend on plants. Um, they're the center of all ecosystems. I got interested in science watching a TV program about a frog. The sad end of that story is the scientists went to look for that frog again. He went to look for the frog and it's now extinct. If we want to conserve everything, plants are important. 